China just created a revolutionary new AI microchip that is thousands of times faster than its Western counterparts, while being millions of times more energy efficient. You heard that right, millions. Even crazier, this happened while China is under crippling US sanctions, blocking them from accessing the world's most advanced equipment. The US thought by imposing these sanctions, it could stifle China's microchip revolution, but there was no country in the world working harder and faster in this industry than China. This story is fascinating, and it's just the beginning of China's strategy to counter US sanctions and firmly grasp its seat at the table as a world leader in tech innovation. As I'll reveal later in today's video, even Taiwan is collaborating with China, and directly helping one of China's largest tech companies fuel the future of China's microchip growth. The microchip industry is red hot right now. Just look at Nvidia stock that is up nearly 38% in the last month alone. In today's video, I'm going to show you how China's microchip revolution is impacting tech stocks around the world. But make sure to watch to the end of today's video, as today's video sponsor Mumu, the number one app I use to buy and sell stocks, has some incredible offers that I can't wait to share with you. But first, let's discover the incredible shift that's happened in the microchip industry the past 18 months. US sanctions on Chinese chips were originally met with widespread expectations that they would kill the Chinese chip industry. Fast forward to today, and we're told Western nations need a plan for when China floods the chip market. The US hasn't killed China's microchip industry. It instead has sparked a fire and a passion that burns deep inside of China as the country relentlessly pursues its microchip success. The SCMP recently broke a story highlighting a group of Chinese scientists who created an AI chip that works 3,000 times faster than NVIDIA's A100. While conventional chips rely on electric current to perform their computations, China's new chip, known as a cell uses light to perform its calculation. And it's precisely this usage of light that makes the A cell chip so much faster and more energy efficient than its counterparts. Here is a stat that will blow your mind. According to researchers, the energy required to operate existing chips for one hour could power a cell for over 500 years. But what's most shocking about this breakthrough is that it was accomplished using 20 year old technology. Once again, China is cut off from the world's most advanced tooling devices, so Chinese scientists and engineers are becoming extremely creative and innovative, working with existing tools they have and developing new tech to stay competitive. It's part of a much larger trend that has completely caught Western governments off guard. Just last year, China's biggest chip maker, SMIC, achieved a massive breakthrough and the biggest blow to US sanctions yet. SMIC started producing seven nanometer chips. This is a huge deal because the number of chip makers worldwide who can produce seven nanometer chips in mass can be counted on one hand. TSMC, Samsung, Intel, and now SMIC. The crucial capability here is mass produce. Many semiconductor companies throughout the world can produce seven nanometer chips, but mass producing is a very different story. Achieving it requires one's manufacturing process to be very refined and have very low defect rates. Otherwise, no one will want to buy your chips. Without mass production, SMIC also wouldn't be able to provide China with the homegrown supply and technological independence that the country seeks. A recent analysis by Barclays revealed that China's chip making capacity will more than double in five to seven years, and that most of the production capacity could be added in the next three years, based on an analysis of 48 chip makers with fabrication plants in mainland China. What's so astonishing is that US sanctions were specifically designed to prevent this kind of breakthrough. Just like with the groundbreaking new AI chip, SMIC found a way around the sanctions and achieve this breakthrough using older fabrication technology that hasn't yet been banned. Even crazier, it only took SMIC two years to leap from 14 nanometers to seven nanometers, faster than both TSMC and Samsung. Legendary semiconductor veteran, Dr. Bern Lin, who previously served as TSMC's R&D director, dropped a massive truth bomb that perfectly sums up this entire situation. It is just not possible for the US to completely prevent China from improving its chip technology. What the US really should do is to focus on maintaining its chip design leadership instead of trying to limit China's progress, which is futile, as China is adopting a whole nation strategy to boost its chip industry and trying to limit China's progress is hurting the global economy. Economy. In doing so, the US may have inadvertently granted SMIC a golden opportunity. Huawei, 
the leading Chinese telecommunications company took advantage of this golden opportunity and partnered with SMIC to produce customized 7 nanometer 5G chips and launched these chips in its latest smartphone, which launched last year. The new smartphone sent the collective West into a panic as no one saw such a large microchip success coming from China. The launch was also a massive deal throughout China too, as millions of proud young Chinese flocked to Huawei stores to buy the new phone and show their patriotic support. And remarkably, this wasn't some short-lived fad. Experts recently indicated that Huawei has beaten Apple to now become the best-selling smartphone manufacturer in the region and believe that trend will continue through 2024. Apple was even forced to make an unprecedented move and offer a rare discount on its phones to try and spur sales for the upcoming Chinese New Year festival. But China won't stop here and has already set its goal on its next major microchip breakthrough, breaking the five nanometer barrier. Once again, it's former TSMC R&D director, Dr. Bern Lin, who shares a valuable insight. China's SMIC should be able to advance to the next generations of five nanometers with machines from ASML that it already operates. The consistent theme we've seen across China's semiconductor breakthroughs is China doing more with less. The breakthroughs perfectly exemplify just how short-sighted the West efforts to contain China and sabotage its technological advancements have been. The US levied sanctions against China, pressured its NATO allies to fall in line, and even prohibited its own American chip makers from selling their best chips to China. There's just one problem with that. China is their biggest customer, and cutting business with China has led to billions of dollars in lost revenue and massive cuts in R&D for top US chip makers, including NVIDIA, Intel, and Qualcomm. Two weeks ago, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang personally traveled to mainland China for the first time in four years, visiting NVIDIA's offices in Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenzhen. This visit spoke volumes as to what Mr. Huang, his executives, and the vast majority of business leaders in the US understand. China is vital to the future success of the American microchip industry. Just listen to what NVIDIA CFO Colette Kress recently said. Over the long term, restrictions prohibiting the sale of our data center GPUs to China, if implemented, will result in a permanent loss of an opportunity for the US industry to compete and lead in one of the world's largest markets. Wow, what a statement. This crucial fact is something our US politicians can't seem to wrap their head around. China is NVIDIA's biggest customer, accounting for over 20% of the company's total revenue. Like many industry leaders who understand the importance of the US-China relationship, Mr. Huang has criticized these restrictions, warning that cutting off China from cutting edge chips will simply drive Chinese firms to innovate and develop their own. And this is exactly what has come to pass. China has emerged more resilient, more innovative and more self-reliant and is now achieving the very breakthroughs the US asserted would be impossible. Everyone, as you can see, the microchip industry is heating up and there are so many ways for you to get involved and buy stocks of some of the world's best tech companies. Moomoo is the app that I use to buy and sell stocks and let me show you one of my favorite features of the app, the earnings calendar. Here is how it works. Start by selecting the markets button, then select US in the top left, simply scroll down to the earnings calendar, click here, and now I have a complete list of companies and the dates they report earnings. I can also search for my favorite company. Let's go with Amazon, and we see that Amazon last reported on February 1st. I can click the link and immediately have the full Q4 earnings conference call video directly in my app. This feature is an absolute game changer and a vital tool that I use to analyze which companies I should invest in. But let's say that you're a little bit more conservative and want a safe place to store your money. Moomoo offers one of the most attractive cash rates I've ever seen. And here is how this month's promotion works. Deposit $100 and receive five free stocks. Deposit $1,000 and receive an additional 10 free stocks. Deposit $6,888 and receive an additional one share of Amazon stock. And all your non-invested cash sitting in your account will earn 8.1% interest rate for a limited time. Moomoo has no minimum deposit or balance requirement for new users. It's free to download and contains tons of free research and analysis tools. Please rest assured that you have my promise as a content creator that I only recommend tools and services that I personally use. Moomoo is my go-to resource for buying and selling stocks, 
So take advantage of these incredible offers and sign up today. In addition, if you're located in Canada, Australia, or other parts of the world, Moomoo has country-specific special offers for you as well. Just click the link in the description and see the promotional details, as the new user reward will be different in each market. So what does the future hold for the microchip battle between the US and China? I'll leave you with perhaps the most stunning development to come out of this US-China chip war that will probably surprise you. Late last year, an on-the-ground investigation by Bloomberg discovered that tech firms from Taiwan of all places are actually helping Huawei build a network of chip factories across southern China. That's right, Taiwan, a close security ally of the U.S. and a central chess piece in the U.S.'s strategy to contain China, is permitting several of its tech firms to aid Huawei. So far, the island's top leaders, such as Wang Meihua, its Minister of Economic Affairs, have done little more than to say they'll look into it, and if they find that these firms are violating U.S. sanctions, merely tell them to pay attention to U.S. export control measures. Such lax enforcement by Taiwanese authorities adds insult to injury in the U.S.'s already failing sanctions campaign against China and is absolutely a slap in the face to the anti-China hardliners in Washington who are expecting unwavering loyalty from their allies to suppress China's growth. Clearly, Taiwan's leaders don't feel that China is as big a threat as the anti-China fanatics in Washington do. Everyone, if you remember one thing from today's video, make sure it's this. Trying to contain China will almost always backfire. The US is humiliating itself by trying to shackle China with sanctions and cutting it off from cutting edge tech, since this has literally made China more resilient innovative and self-reliant. The US and its NATO allies must finally face up to the fact that we now live in a multipolar world and learn to share power and coexist instead of trying at all costs to remain the world's sole hegemon. For when this happens, the entire world will win. Everyone, thank you for taking time out of your day to spend it with me here on YouTube. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and let me know what you think of this microchip battle down in the comment section below. Finally, any of the stocks that I mentioned in today's video is not professional advice. Please do your own due diligence before purchasing any stocks. As always, thank you for your incredible support. Drop me a comment down below and I look forward to seeing you all in our next video soon.